Okay, Sheila's going to show us the heel strike and gait. Okay, from here, we're just shifting the weight into one foot, into the other. So it's a lateral sideways sway, shifting your weight. And this is your first exercise, you're shifting weight, but you're keeping the weight at the waist the same distance, hips and ribs, same distance. From here, we're going to start to move it on into shifting the weight and lifting the heel up. Bending at the knee, knee comes forward, tracks of your toes down. Shift the weight over, peeling the heel off, the knee comes over the toes and then back down. Okay. Those exercises, when they're ready, we start to move on into a next phase, which is lifting the heel off. So you transfer the weight, you lift the heel and then the toe. So it's knee lift. Expect them to be wobbling a little bit, that's fine. And then transfer the weight back down, lifting the heel, lifting the toe. Supporting knee should be soft. We're still keeping that correct alignment. So avoid looking down towards your feet, placing the feet back down. Okay. Once we're happy with that, we can venture on to the next phase. We're shifting the weight, lifting the heel into the knee lift. And then from here, so bend the supporting leg. This is in the preparation for another movement. Shift the weight over, heel the heel, lift the knee, bend the supporting knee. So very subtle, transfer of weight, lifting the knee, bending the supporting knee. So once we're happy with them doing that exercise, we're going to move on to the next phase. So shifting the weight, heel lift, lifting the knee, bending the supporting leg and straightening the foot stay to relax. Straightening that leg, lifting and placing down. Shift it over, heel lift, knee lift, bend supporting knee, straighten the leg. Lift and down. It may seem pretty disjointed, but what you're trying to do is create links. So the next phase from that is shift, heel lift, knee lift, bend supporting knee, extend the leg and then dorsiflex the foot. Lift. And down. Heel, knee, bend, straighten the leg, bring the toe towards the shin, and then back into position. So again, the next link to that is just adding on. So each time you repeat the exercise, not in the same day, but over a period of weeks, you'll have built up this skill. So lifting, knee lift. Supporting leg, straighten the leg, heel, and then place that heel down to heel strike. It's that connection through there, inspiring the glute lead, lift up and down. So again, heel lift, knee lift, extend the leg, dorsiflex the foot, and then taking the heel down, lifting and down. So your next phase that goes on is the transference of weight. Transfer, lift. Okay. <laughs> bend the supporting knee, extend the leg, dorsiflex the foot, heel goes down, and then we're shifting the whole centre of mass over the base of support, which is now going to be the front foot. Practice moving back, the shifting of the weight, and the, and the feeling underneath the foot, how it goes from the heel, outside the foot, through to the pad of the foot. There'll be adjustments as we pronate and supinate. The toes connecting through the, to the floor and then back. Do a number of these because that's your key that you want to do, that transference. And then lifting up <coughs> and then placing down. So again on the same opposite side, shift your weight over, lift the heel, knee, bend supporting leg, extend. Lowering the heel down, transferring that body mass over the base of support. Backwards. And forwards, focusing on what's happening around the foot. So it's not just this front foot, it's also the back foot as you roll up through into the ball of the foot. We'll go back into position, lift the leg, and then come back to base of support. Put that to bed for a bit, and then we'll move on to another phase. From here, I'm going to ask them to lift into that knee lift. 
what I want you to do is swing through. And we're looking at this non-reciprocal body movement. So it's a movement forward and back. The swing through, it needs the knee flexed and that movement coming through from the hip. So we get hip flexion, hip extension. And therefore that movement is instigated at the hip. Okay, we'll try it on the opposite side, transferring the weight, lifting into your knee, and then keeping the knee flexed so it clears the floor and you've got that movement through. Okay, so now we're going to add those things together. Okay. So you transfer the weight over, you lift the knee, you bend the supporting leg, extend, dorsiflex the foot, taking the foot down, transfer that weight over. You lift the back heel up, take it down, lift up. It's a movement that's quite often forgotten or badly represented. So you want to make sure that they lift up using the hamstring and then take it back. Transfer, transfer the weight over. Heel lift, knee lift, bend supporting knee, extend, heel strike. Transfer that weight, you supported leg, you're grounded. You lift that back, toe off the floor. Again, just getting them to practice the movement over and over again. They may have swung the legs out, they may have hip hitched through. So if their leg's not clearing the floor in the swing through phase, they will trip up. So back into position. We can start then pull back that swing through phase into that movement. So transfer the weight, lift the heel into the knee lift, bend supporting knee, extend, dorsiflex, heel goes down, transfer the weight over, lift the back heel up, swing through. We're back into the knee lift phase, supporting leg bent, Straight that opposite leg, <coughs> dorsiflex the foot, transfer the weight, you're up onto your back toe, bend the knee, lifting up. So there we've got our walking gait. Put that arm to bed all the time during the, your classes. You're also going to be teaching single arm floats. And then we'll get into a alternating arm action. Okay. So alternating arm action. We're taking the arms a little bit further back, so it's a swing through. Okay. Also, I want you to start to then think of rotation. So we've been teaching in a wider stance to, to fix the pelvis, knees soft, and we're just rotating left and right. So we're getting thoracic rotation. Eventually, we'll add that, so we'll start to swing through. And it comes across the body. My next phase is then to teach heel lifts into foot pedals. And then getting them to focus on opposite arm to leg. Now if you can get them to do it with their eyes closed. So you've got your weight even. Close the eyes, peel one heel off and alternate in left to right. And then when they're ready... Introduce opposite arm to leg. Quite often they'll pause and hesitate at that, and it's that connection. We should automatically have that walking gait, um, but it's sometimes lost because we carry bags. So now if we put that all together, the whole walking um, sequence, what we should find is that they transfer the weight, they lift the heel up <laughs> into the knee lift, extend the leg as they bend the knee, taking the heel down. Transfer. Okay. Now, as they transfer, allow the body to slightly rotate as they bring the hand forward. And then we'll get that same movement. You'll notice that what's happening is all those movements broken down is happening, but are not as exaggerated. So it's not like the ministry fully walks. It starts to become more smooth. Yeah. So eventually, that's the walking gait. You're getting... A movement that is replicating opposite arm to leg swing, which is counterbalancing and working what we call <coughs> the swing system in the posterior aspect of the body. And then as we're moving, we're getting the heel strike rolling through the foot. So the calcaneus is also a low bone loading bone. And they have the heel strike. Thank you very much.